Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of subtraction. We are going to be subtracting mixed numbers and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. We'll start with a simple example here. You see we have 4 and 3 eighths minus 2 and 1 12. So mixed numbers are simply whole numbers with fractions next to it. But what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the fractions first. We've got to get those right. So you see we're looking at 3 eighths and 1 12. We cannot subtract across unless the denominators are the same. And you see our 8 and 12 are different, so we're going to look for our least common multiple. I'm going to list out my multiples of 8 and 12, so 8, 16, 12, 24. And if I do my third multiple of 8, you see we have a 24 there, that's going to be enough. So my least common multiple, or LCM, of 8 and 12 is going to be 24. So what I need to do is I need to change both of my fractions into 24ths. So the way we do that is we set up a little equivalent fraction equation here. 8 times something, looking at the denominator, is going to equal 24. So 8 times something makes 24, 8 times 3. Now a moment ago I said you cannot subtract fractions straight across if the denominators are different. Multiplication is different. You can multiply straight across. So 8 times 3 is 24. Now I'm going to make my numerator of the second fraction 3 because 3 thirds is really one whole. Think about if you take a circle and you break it up into three equal parts, and then you shade in all three parts, well, you have the whole thing shaded in. And three-thirds equals a whole, the identity property of multiplication says if you multiply anything times one, it stays the same. So I'm going to multiply this three-eighths times three-thirds. This three-thirds is really just one. And I'm going to multiply the top three times three equals nine. So what happens is I change my three-eighths into nine-twenty-fourths. Those are the exact same quantities they just look different, and now I have my denominator is 24th. I'm going to do the same thing for my 1 12th. 1 12th times something is going to make 24th. So 12 times 2 is going to make 24. So if I put a 2 up on top there, then I'm going to multiply it by 1 because 2 halves makes 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. So now I can rewrite my problem as 4 I'm going to go ahead and bring my whole numbers back in because I can't forget those. 4 and 9 24ths minus 2 and 2 24ths. And now we simply subtract the fraction. So 9 24ths minus 2 24ths is going to make 7 24ths. And we subtract our whole numbers. 4 minus 2 is going to make 2. So our answer is going to be 2 and 7 24ths. Let's look at a different example. Let's say we want to subtract 3 and a half minus 1 and 3 quarters. Well, once again, let's look at our fractions. Denominators are different. Though finding the least common multiple is going to be fairly easy here because if I list out my multiples, you see 4 is the same number on both lists. That's my least common multiple. And my 3 fourths is already in fourths. So all I need to do is change my 1 half. And you probably know what it is, but let me go ahead and set up the equation for you. 1 half times something is going to make fourths. So 2 times 2 makes 4. So let's make that 2 halves because that needs to be multiplied by 1. And 2 halves is equal to 1. So 1 times 2 is 2. So what I have here is let me go ahead and rewrite this. 3 and 2 fourths minus 1 and 3 fourths. You probably notice a problem. I've got 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. We're not going to be able to do that unless we regroup our 3 and 2 fourths. Now let me draw my 3 and 2 fourths for you. So here's my 3, 1, 2, 3, and then I've got 2 fourths, so let me draw 2 fourths here. And what I need to do is I need to take this hole right here and I need to split this up into fourths. And if I do that, I'm going to end up with two holes, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fourths. And so 2 and 6 fourths, which looks strange because it's an improper fraction, is the same as 3 and 2 fourths. But if I take that 2 and 6 fourths, now I can have my subtraction problem. Because 6 fourths minus 3 fourths is going to be 3 fourths. And 2 minus 1 is going to make 1. So my answer is going to be 1 and 3 fourths. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and pause the video. Try to solve this problem. When you have your answer, start it back up and check your work. You should have found 6 as your least common multiple. Rewrote your equation as 3 and 2 6 minus 2 and 3 6. Realize you needed to regroup, so you see I've got 3 and 2 6 at the bottom, and I rewrote it as 2 and 8 sixths, and so my answer is going to be 5 sixths.